part two of the toilet graveyard. I found a whole other section. So we start here with a bunch of broken parts all along there. Here's a brown one, a 1940s cadet lid, all kinds of stuff down there. Then here is an RV toilet. There's an old peerless, as you can tell by the four bolts. There's a trap view. There's a VHP toilet here. Don't know what that one is. There's a blue forward trap. I don't know what that one is either. There's a VHP there, a Crane Radcliffe. Then here, this looks like a case tank. That's a 70s American Standard Cadet. Then, this is a wall-mounted toilet of some sort. I don't know what, but it's buried in there. I'm not sure what that one is. This is obliterated, whatever it was, but it's a, a Kilgore. Then, that forward trapper right there doesn't even look broken. No, no name. Yeah, that one's good. Probably busted by the tree, but that's a good other than that. And then that there looks like a Gerber, possibly. Gerber flushometer toilet. Over there is just a random mix of broken stuff. I can't quite tell what it all is, but this here is the 70s Cadet. That, I really don't know what that one is. That looks like a Gerber. Don't know what that tank is. There is a Universal Rundle. Not sure what that one is there. And a Kilgore, I believe. Then around here, this is like a, a URC 1.5 gallon blue toilet of some kind. There's an American Standard right there. A Gerber Mount Vernon. Here's a green, an odd looking green toilet. Can't make out a name right here now. No idea what that is. There is a flushometer toilet. Looks like an old Kohler. That's a Total Reliance. This looks like some sort of Elger. Just some random tanks here. I don't know what all those are. That, I can't tell what that is. That one right there is a forward trapper. I can see that. Try to zoom in. I can't zoom in. But this, a Gerber, that's a crane. I'm probably gonna hurt myself. This is a Universal Rundle Citations. Looks like it's a brown color. This is a Fluid Master 200A. So this is a Kohler High Cliff, an 80s High Cliff. Then, if I can get a good footing here, this is a Mansfield Alto. Right here, it's a Mansfield. Here's a Gerber Mount Vernon. Here is a, I don't even know what that one is. Looks like maybe that a Western, uh, actually. This here, another forward trapper, an old low tank. No name that I can see. Here is an old Pepsi bottle too. This one, Universal Rundle, American Standard Cadet. Here's the other forward trapper. I can't really get a good look at that one either, unfortunately. Forward trapper there, I can't make out a date. Then, that's a Plebe, I believe. This, that's a Dixie, like I had. And this, this has got a nice jet right here. That's a case toilet. Here's the tank from the case toilet. It's made in 1950. Here's a Mansfield Quantum tank. Not broken either. Here is a Lamosa Sahara. 
VHP. And this is a back spud forward trapper, also broken. I don't know what kind it is. Anyone? And right here, this one is up on top of stuff. Looks like it could be like a Gerber mount. Yeah, it's a Gerber mount Vernon. Then that one there is a Toto Reliance 1.6 gallon. Here, and it looks like a case. There is, it's a Kohler Cadet Trap Wellworth. This is a Kilgore Forward Trap. And this one here, that's a Kohler Trilon. Man, I wish these all weren't broken. This I can already tell is like a Porcelamex or something. This here is, honestly, I have no idea. Looks like something I've probably seen before. Then around over here, we have a Borg Warner Academy with the original handle. I don't know what that one is. And this here is a uh, artesian water miser, actually. Wouldn't mind taking that one home. Here's a Gerber Mount Vernon again. A Nasisa. A Richmond Forward Trap. Already looked this one over and it is not broken. I would not mind taking this one home. Here is a blue toilet that's broken. I don't know what it was. Lots of broken stuff. A Elger tank. Seat riser. This looks like some sort of Kohler right here. Looks like <sighs> flushometer. No, definitely not flushometer. It's got the tank right there. That looks like maybe a Briggs Ambassador tank. Briggs Prince, actually. February 15th of 1973. This, Lord, I don't know what this is. Universal Rundle Citations right there, the beige color. Vintage Vitromex over there. A green Elger emblem it looks like. Then there is more. More over here. I don't, I do not know what this one is. Gonna get a good look at that one. It's busted, whatever it is. Anyone know? Don't know what that one is. I'm gonna leave that for you guys to figure out. This is a VHP. This one, this forward trap right here, it looks not broken. It's got three bolts. I can't see the date, but I'll see it when I stopped the video. 1949. I actually did see it. There's an old Dr. Pepper bottle. Pretty cool. Wouldn't mind taking this one either. I think it's an Alamo Potteries, actually. I had one of these. Then, here's just some random pieces. That is a Kilgore. I'd be surprised if I can actually see anything in it. Oh, yuck. That there looks like... Um, I don't know. I can't see it. Oh, check that out. An old soda bottle. Well, pretty much does it. And then... If I come back over, there is a 1976 Crane Santon, which unfortunately is also broken. Assuming it hasn't... Ugh, losing my train of thought here. I'm going to pause the video because I'm almost out of storage. Here's the Crane Santon.
an entire other pile of toilets. I cannot believe it. I have died and gone to heaven. But anyway, that's about it. I should get going.